everybody, this is Jeff Janess, and welcome to our fourth lab exercise in cartography and symbology. And in this lab exercise, we're going to see how to construct the road symbol used by the USGS to represent unimproved roads on their 1 to 24,000 quad maps. These are usually the roads you can count on to be the most interesting to drive, and often require both a high clearance vehicle and four wheel drive. And Ezra used to have this symbol available in earlier versions of ArcGIS, but I haven't seen it in a few years. And fortunately, it's easy to construct and even makes a good lab exercise to practice building a custom symbol from multiple pieces. In this lab exercise, we're going to be using ArcGIS Pro version 3.3.1. We're going to practice this with a feature class called Trails, Roads, Dry Lake Hills. It's in your class data in the subfolder called Dry Lake Hills. So it's in here. Open this up. This is the one we're going to work with. So we have to add it to a map. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but here's a little shortcut. You can right click on this, go to Add to New Map, and this will let ArcGIS Pro create a brand new map for us and throw the data in. So it kind of saves a step if we're also wanting to make a new map. Now, as you can see, it loads up with a really simple symbol. It's just a simple line. We're trying to get to that nice double dash line that the uh, USGS uses. So we're going to have to change the symbology. We want to open the symbology pane. If you remember, there's two ways. You can select the layer, come to feature layer, and hit symbology. Or you can right click on the layer, come to symbology. Whatever's your preference. We got the symbology pane open now. We click on this to open up the tool for formatting the simple line. And you can see right now it's set to be a green line width of one point. Uh, the rest of it's just the defaults. That's why it looks the way it does. So we're going to change that. First off, we're going to change the color to black. Just come down here. We're going to set an offset of negative one. This means that the line will draw a little bit to the side of where, of where the true line is, so it won't lie exactly accurate. This is okay, we're going to add another line layer that later that will be shifted just a little bit to the side going the other direction, and that's, that will make the two side-by-side -side dashes. Alright, so we got this. Let's set the, uh, the uh, options here to accurate so it draws a little cleaner. And we're going to set a dash pattern here. We're going to set it to this top one just right there. All right, so this is half of the USGS symbol. We just need to add another one that looks just like it, sitting just to the side of it. That means we have to add another layer to our symbol. We do that using the little mechanics button here. This is the structure command. Click this, come to add symbol layer. We're going to add another stroke layer. So now we have two stroke layers. You see them both here. And you can see them drawing here. So we just got to set the, uh, the properties of this. Come back to this little window. Click on that. Select this layer of the symbol. And we're going to set it to be black again. Width of one point. This time the offset is going to be a positive one point, And the, it's going to be set to be accurate as well. All right, so we can see it's drawn about where we want it to. We just need to make it dashed. So come down here, choose the dash pattern, and there we go. And that's all there is to it. And now you have the USGS symbol for those kind of rough and interesting roads. All right, thanks so much, everybody. Thanks for watching. And our next lab exercise, we'll get an introduction to labeling. And so I look forward to seeing you there. Take care.